So this is a, a final presentation about the short scientific missions. Um, as I said before, this is the leader of this of this uh, short scientific missions is Alan. He's not here, so I'm um, replacing him in this presentation. And uh, <coughs> uh, my contribution to this was mainly through the innovation committee that uh, we are trying to push a little bit these short scientific missions with more, uh, let's say, impact. And that is what I will try to present very briefly as a strategy for the future. So this presentation, very briefly, it's about <coughs> uh, <coughs> reviewing the concept of these cost uh, short scientific missions, vision and structure, and then under the scope of uh, the our uh, cost action, and uh, what is the strategy that we are proposing for the next short scientific missions. So basically, uh, the idea of these short scientific missions is exchanging knowledge, uh, mobility, and trying to gain some benefit for the parts that are involved. Um, there are uh, <coughs> some rules. Uh, and uh, for which uh, people that are willing to have a short scientific mission, there are some minimum maximum periods of duration. Uh, in the special case of early career investigators, there are, uh, it is available a, a wider period if they are interested to explore it. Um, and uh, for this cost action, uh, the main idea is to promote uh, mobility, innovation, knowledge transfer, sharing uh, technologies, and creating of networks. So the cases that were presented here, we saw that people moved to another institution, they engaged, they got some uh, new insights in, the, in, in new fields and they tried to build something that could be useful for, for the future. Um, I, I would like to call your attention that in the first workshop that was held uh, here, uh, the Innovation Committee recommended some some actions and one of them was to encourage short scientific missions to be also in the industrial partners and try to focus on specific problems that they are currently analyzing. So the idea is that, of course, um, the spectrum of this short scientific mission should not be restricted to this, but definitely, uh, in our opinion, it should include also this. So people should try to move a little bit from the research to the industry, go there, share their knowledge, try to understand what, they, what are uh, the problems that are, they are facing and how your expertise can help them to solve some of those problems. Um, so the objective of, the, of these short, short scientific missions for the future will be try to engage with the companies and try to, to bring them inside the cost action and try to show to them some uh, technologies or system prototypes that are being developed on the, uh, under the domain of the research. Um, and uh, until now what was done and based on these presentations, I would like just to give an, an overview of what was presented. So I present here uh, the short scientific missions that took place and I'd like to just to focus that in, in fact at the moment, what we see is that the almost OMA institution and the OSS institution are mainly universities or research uh, institutes. Okay? Um, it is the same, so until now we don't have yet, in fact, for example, um, a short scientific mission that some people on the university of our research institute uh, was willing to go to an industry and uh, engage with them and try to do some collaboration. So, and for that, the strategy that uh, was discussed was try to plan a short scientific mission workshop uh, until the end of this year and uh, with the uh, objective of inviting SME to explain and explain to them uh, in that workshop the benefits and the potential opportunities offered by these short-term scientific missions, okay? Um, we would like to, as a strategy for this, to, to ask you 
uh, to suggest potential topics for these short-term scientific missions that could be of interest for SME. So your expertise that you, you have, how you could think about this could be useful for some industrial partners that you uh, maybe might be interested to engage. Uh, and based on that, if you have some, <coughs> some, some vision on this, uh, give to us some contact details for this SME to be invited for this workshop. Uh, and finally, we will also aim that uh, this uh, could be presented in the next workshop uh, next year as a SME so uh, short-term scientific mission. Um, and finally, I'd like to open the discussion in terms of what you think about this idea what you'll suggest, if you agree, uh, what your visions in terms of this. So if I can start the discussion, for example, uh, in this morning, this presentation about robotics in social monitoring. Personally, as uh, representing a bridge owner, I would be very much appreciated to engage with you in terms to, to explore this possibility uh, to explore uh, some short scientific mission if you have someone interested to go Bri to go to Brisa and show your uh, uh, product's expertise in benefit to them. But I open the discussion to the audience. I know, I know that it's time to go to have lunch, but uh, perhaps we could just share a little bit uh, some ideas or uh, well, at least what you think about the strategy of trying to move a little bit these uh, short scientific missions to more uh, the industry side and engage with them in this cost action, if it makes sense to you, if it doesn't make sense to you. Uh, Sebastian, can, I think they, they don't need necessarily to be already engaged in the cost action. If they are, of course, it will be very good. But if someone has a company that feels that could be useful to engage, for example, imagine that you have a company that you think that could be useful, perhaps taking advantage of your position in this cost action, you could invite the company to engage in this cost action under the scope of short scientific here in the cost action uh, uh, where it's a good point uh, we don't have on the websites uh, who is actually included yeah. so but this will come soon uh, we are working on this so that we are getting it on the website uh, so this is our starting point uh, we are open to any contributing partners so if there are good ideas then uh, we are open Yes, it could be a mobility from the, the university to the, to the industry or the other way around. Or it could be uh, something that could be uh, shared in terms of visits. You can go to the research institute and do some application on the industry. 
I'm thinking about uh, a bridge owner if they have a bridge with some problems. There are some drones from those robotics to sort of monitoring. They could do some kind of uh, a test case and try to see, for example. But yes, I agree with you. Um, but I'd like to say that uh, <clears throat> you could seriously take advantage of these short scientific missions to, uh, <clears throat> to re uh, reinforce your links with potential uh, partners that you have already with industry. Okay? Because these short scientific missions will pay uh, the researcher that will visit the, either in one, in one direction or the other and could be an excellent opportunity to move forward for example to for project proposals at least or uh, deliver a product uh, if you have already at this stage so definitely I think this is a very valid tool to accelerate these links that you might have with your partners from the industrial side or in the other way around of course. So, should we finish and go lunch and continue the conversation there? Okay, so thank you once again for your attention and...